Austin, how long have you been an editor at Development and why did you decide to come on board? Uh, for 10 years now. Uh, and the reason is that uh, I wanted to support the interface between stem cell biology and developmental biology and ensure that there was a quality venue for publications in that area. So what do you actually do for development? So when the papers come in, I look through them and decide whether or not they're appropriate for the channel. Then I pick the, the reviewers. Then when the reviews come back, I go through them and make the decision on you know whether the papers needs to be revised further, whether it's acceptable or whether we have to reject it. As an editor, you must see a lot of papers coming through. Tell me, what makes a development paper different? A development paper is reliable. A development paper is properly done, carefully done. And a development paper will generally stand the test of time. What kind of papers would you like to see more of in development? I'd like to see more papers about adult stem cells. Uh, I'd like to see more reprogramming papers. And really what I'd like to see are more papers that have a, uh, a cross-disciplinary approach that you know bring in aspects, it could be computational, uh, it could be biophysics, materials, um, but, but still linked with really good basic biology. What's the number one piece of career advice you give to your students and postdocs? So to be a good scientist, I think the most important thing is to be critical and to be prepared to demolish your own idea and hypothesis and that's often very difficult for, for young scientists. Austin, you're known to be a pretty serious guy but once upon a time you were a student too. Do you remember any lab disasters from those days? Uh, yes, but I've elided it completely from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that you knew. <laughs> no. uh, nothing you're willing to discuss. Nothing I'm willing to discuss in public. Okay, Austin. Now we're going to play a little bit of a game. I've got some photos here of some very high profile stem cell scientists, but the photos were taken from before they were famous. They're connected in some way to development, whether through our advisory board or as an editor or what have you. It's going to be your job to guess who they are. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, go. Here's the first one. Who is that? I have no idea who that is. Is it Francois? No, no it's so. not Francois. The glasses. Picture him with is a it, big, big, old, it, big old moustache. With a moustache? Yeah. That's not Len, is it? It is! It is! Oh my god. Well, he, well he's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the second picture. You can't quite see it in this photo, but she has actually just pulled the tail off an axolotl. Yeah, well, no, I was thinking, I mean, it, I guess it's Ellie, but I don't, don't see Ellie's features in the face. No? No. No. Well, it is Ellie. Yeah. Here's the last one. Who is that? That is obviously a younger generation. Who could that little rascal be with his little little backpack? Time's up. Good, good, yeah. <laughs> Come on, guess. Time's up. I don't know. I mean, could it be Conrad? Yeah. Good guess. Two for three. No, three for three. Well, yeah, with some... <laughs> with some clues. Yeah. Well done, Austin, and thank you for taking the time to interview with Development. As Editor-in-Chief of Development, one of my missions is to attract more and better stem cell papers to the journal. So I encourage you to submit your next great stem cell paper to Development. I or one of my expert colleagues will personally handle your paper guiding you through every stage from submission to publication. There are many great reasons to publish with us, and I hope to see your next paper in development soon.